And we have a men's singles match uh, coming on to the show court with uh, Dieter Donker from uh, Germany against Anand Power from India. Should be a very interesting match with uh, good contrasting styles here. Dieter Donker very tall. Played some tough matches already in this uh, in this tournament against Anand Pawa, who has actually won this championships twice. Very very difficult opponent. Gets everything back. Dita Donker's a little bit more of a, a shot player, uses height for angles and uh, uses his reach. There should be a good contrast of styles. Remember, if you want to tweet the Scottish Open, it's... Uh, Hashtag SOGP. My guess is Anam will be about 28, 29. Played around the tournaments a lot and be very successful. Very good singles player. And that's the style that you'll see from Dieter. He cuts the, cuts the shuttle out of the air and uh, gets the angles. And my guess is that um, Anam will try and go for the long game here and really try and sap the energy of the uh, German. and take his opportunities when they come like that. One, two. That's what I'm expecting from this match, but it, what you expect and what you often get are two different things. plays a real classic singles like that and moving the player full distances and uh, really trying to get them to move as much as possible making it really physical got lovely skills as well and very measured everything is always very measured with Anan. you'll see very, very few unforced errors from Anan, which makes it so difficult for the other player. Very good play from Dieter there, smash and then uh, turning the player at the net and my guess is, although uh, Dita's uh, 
a good athlete. I think that um, he won't want the rallies to go on and on because that is going to suit Anan. And as the tournament progresses, um, all of a sudden you get the uh, the men at the end that they just give nothing away, and it um, becomes a really tough rallying type game. It's normally the sort of player that wins this type of championships. They're never won easy. Good bit of deception there shown by Anna, taking it early. Quite unusual to see uh, Anand taking the uh, short serve option, but he's doing that because he's playing against someone that's probably six foot three and uh, not giving him the opportunities to start the rally with an edge and uh, clip the shuttle down and make it difficult for him because a lot of the shots that um, Dita Donka's hitting will be winners against most people, but and then is so good at reading the game and uh, so experienced that he's getting them back. Anand won't be happy with that error. And he values every single point. And that's the right sort of tactics to use. He's turning the big man. There's been a big rise in the um, standard of Indian badminton, and it's because they have uh, so many academies out there now, with, uh, and they're competing against each other. And they have huge numbers who want to play the game. It's a massive game in India. And I was looking at the uh, richest players in badminton, and Saina Noor, who is um, at the top of world badminton, she's probably ranked around number two at the moment, I think. Um, her, her, her earnings are something like uh, 24 million. So uh, top badminton players do earn very good money. Halfway stage, Anand is taking the lead. And they'd be very comfortable with that because Dieter's more likely to be dangerous at the early part of the match than later on. The longer it goes on, the more it's going to suit Anand. You see in the uh, shuttle being hit behind by um, 
uh, the strongest ladies doubles pair and they're the ones in the black that's um, the Stave sisters against the Scottish pair and uh, believe me those Scottish girls have got their work cut out for them no mistakes from Anan and he's uh, so early on the shuttle and so it's uh, there's a whole process going on there which is uh, consistency first take the shuttle early and then he's putting these nice touches in there like deception and um, uh, the weapons of uh, his smash his cut Dieter is playing with the drift, so um, everything he's hitting is just set a little bit quicker, and it's easier for Anand to um, to actually play rallies into Dieter's end. When you've got the uh, the lift coming from the net uh, from the end that Dieter's on now, um, it's very very hard to judge the back line because of the drift. <coughs> oh, what a lovely shot from Anna in there. He uses lovely deception, takes the shuttle early, which puts his opponent under immense pressure. I was talking to Mark before the tournament and um, he was telling me that Anan is not playing quite as much these days, but he certainly uh, looks as rock steady as you need to be in this, uh, in this match. Oh, a little bit wild there, and that's very uh, uncharacteristic of him. But I think he actually expected to win it on the second smash. Pawa is up 17-10 against Dieter Donker and in a way he's making it look comfortable and believe me it wouldn't be because Dieter Donker's got so many shots and an awkward player to play against particularly at the start of a match where um, he's still fresh and uh, got all the uh, ideas of taking the net early using deception or whatever and uh, not an easy player to play against. 18, 11. Except Anand is making it look easy. Again, very, very effective tactic there of hitting a big guy at his body. Really works very, very well.
And again, down that deep forehand side with the bit of deception. And uh, Dieter showing a little bit of frustration there, and I can understand. But he should have had his racket up higher. He will know that. And in, in a way, um, in this first set, Dieter Donker knows that he's got no chance because Alan's giving um, no points away on unforced errors. Very, very hard to uh, come back. So um, Alan, all he's got to do is keep, keep playing and uh, the set will be his as it's shown there. And he's made a very difficult job look comfortable there. And there's such good players in this tournament that Anand will definitely have his problems later on in the tournament. Um, Raj Yusuf, uh, English number one singles player. Um, Hans Christian Vittinghouse, uh, number one seed for the tournament. Vili Lang, who's a past winner. You know, there's some great, great singles players in this tournament, and um, you can come along and watch them. We want you to. And it only costs a few quid. And I might have spoken a bit too soon there, because Billy Lang, who's a great Scottish favourite, is... Um, Looks like he might well be going out of the tournament to uh, a very good Dane. And the truth is the uh, coach is having a word with uh, Anen there, but Anen will know exactly what he's got to do. He'll have his tactics sorted in his head and keep to his script. It looks like the advice might have been to speed up the game, perhaps flatten it out a little bit, try and play him a little bit more double style, which would certainly suit Dieter Donker more. Single style is not going to have a lot of uh, chance. So quicker points, which is, a, I expected that in the first set. So definitely the pace has been quicker now. And what, what Pawar's got to get back to is um, rallying, slowing the pace down, making the, the match a lot more measured, a lot more rally. But it's all gone uh, Dieter Donker's way here with a neck called smash there uh, for love. But you'll see no panic from uh, Anan. He's been uh, in these situations a thousand times. They just keep working away and keep working away. And there. Brilliant push from Dieter Donker at uh, Anand's body, but he just was able to get it over the very tall man and uh, win the point. Not easy to do. But a very good start from Dieter Donker in this um, second set. Change of tactics. It's uh, very, very sharp. Really tight net there. And bigger hitting. 
which is, is those tactics are spot on for Dita Donka. Never ever have stood a chance winning against uh, power by rallying. But such an experienced player as power he's going to be used to this tactic he's going to be uh, know it well and uh, just as he is now he's absorbing it it's a much better tactic for Dieter Donka but um, power is now showing that he can absorb this tactic big hit and there's only so often that you could uh, keep hitting it's uh, like a death of a thousand cuts when um, when someone like power keeps on getting his smash back you cannot carry on smashing with that sort of uh, ferocity and from an early lead it's now six all And you see there, it just started to drift back into uh, the rallying style that is really going to suit the Indian player. Oh. Big smash at the big, big man's body, works again. Beautiful shot. Quite a few people wish they could buy that backhand. That was a superb shot. One of the few mistakes by Power there. Power getting away with that one a little bit. I've really been impressed with his deception because um, <clears throat> you can't read exactly what he's going to do because the moment you move, he changes it. And he actually used deception there to go up Dita Donka's uh, forehand side. Um, keeping the tactic of uh, trying to be quite aggressive trying to um, attack against a very good defensive player so um, it's a hard game for Dieter Donker and the longer the game goes on the harder it will get because this guy just gets so much back giving him exactly the shot that he's not expecting. cross halt drive would go against all the tactics books there, but it's because you shouldn't do it, but it's so effective. Just breaking the rules. And breaking the rules quite correctly. I'm pretty sure that's Raj Usif through to the next round. It's going to be a difficult man to beat in this tournament. Wittinghaus and uh, Usef are really the favourites for the tournament.
And the big difference is when Power comes up against either either of those two guys, blood will be left on the court because uh, they're, they're all so good and nothing is given away. And it all becomes fractions and edges of who uh, takes the shuttle slightly earlier, got the greater variety of shots. Just missing the line there. Pushed at the body again. Really effective against Dieter. Oh, very tight net. Very short and steep smash. To the centre, took no risks at all. No need to take any risks. And this is why he's so good. He's such a great percentage player. So one of the things I feel with this match is that Dieter Donker has used the right tactics. He's just playing against a, a player that's been able to absorb them. And good deception there. Good play from Dieter Donker. But a player who makes a lot less mistakes and very, very difficult to play against. And this consistency would have taken thousands and thousands of hours of practice. Every technique that he's using on that court, the deception, will have been honed and been created into a habit. Power took putting him into the back two lines, and you can just sense that a bit of power's gone out of uh, Dieter Donker's uh, smash. And at 17 10, Power is really, really comfortable. Again, the, the attack at the body being really successful, and a half court shot put away. Gets a simple shot, puts it down the centre again. Such a percentage player. And I watch this sort of player play, and he's just making the right decision time after time. That's a careless error, though. smash into the body it's been so effective 19 power now takes it to match point Phenomenal last point, really. The fast exchange there at the 
the net and the reactions of both players. Um, quite incredible. And Dieter Donker, you know, he's going to be probably disappointed with that performance, but I think it was a very fair result, 13 and 13. And uh, the problem is with someone like Power, he just makes it look easy because he's hardly given you any mistakes. And he's very satisfied. A very, very good match. And we're going to take a short break there until the next match comes on.